Hello there, with this guide you will be able to adjust the field of view in Silent Hill F along with the camera distance and adjusting some effects in the game like the fog and others. So to do this, first thing we need is to go to our browser and then go to this website right here. It's Reshade. We scroll down to the bottom. The link to this will be in the video description of course. We download this specific version that accepts add-ons. Then we go ahead through its installation process. We click on OK. Then from here, we select the game. If you can't find it on this list, select it manually here. If you have the game on Steam, go into this PC, C drive, then program files 86, Steam, Steam apps, Common, Silent Hell F, then SHF, Binaries, Win64, and we select this file right here, Shipping, we click on Open, then Next. Make sure that this DirectX 10, 11, 12 is checked, then go Next. Then from here, we can just select Uncheck All, because we don't need all these effects. We only need the ones that come with the add-on we will install later. After that we go next, then next on here as well. Now we need to install the add-on for Rayshade. We go to this Nexus mod. We scroll a bit down, we go to the Files tab, we select Manual Download on this, then Download, then Slow Download. It may ask us to log in or create an account, so do so. After 5 seconds, the download should start automatically. Now we go to where the file is downloaded to. Then we go to where the game is installed for us. If on Steam, just like before, go to C drive, program files 86, Steam, Steam apps, common, Silent Hill F, SHF, binaries, Win64, and we drag and drop the contents of this archive right here. Now, once we launch the game, your antivirus software may delete the add-on file. If this happens, you will see this error message right here. So what we need to do to fix this issue, we go to our antivirus, we go to the virus and threat protection, then protection history, and we just simply restore the file. This is a false positive. The file is not a virus whatsoever. After that, we close Windows Defender and we launch the game again. Now this time we click on the home key on the keyboard and we will have these two windows. I'll attach this window right here for easier access. Then we press the home key again so we make these windows disappear. Now we continue so we can see the changes in game live. We make sure that this is enabled along with the FOV checkbox checked and then we can adjust the FOV and these are the effects. Once the FOV is selected, we can adjust the sliders here down below and the changes should take effect immediately. After you're done, just click on the home key again on your keyboard and that's it. Hope this video helped you out and peace out.